Om Shanti and good morning. We are doing the recording of yesterday, that is 30th of July, and then we are going to do the recording of today's 31st of July's Godly Blessing. And in yesterday's Godly Blessing, Supreme God Father defines that how time is moving forward, it's not stopping for anybody. So if time is moving forward, then we need to become an intense effort maker. An effort maker who crosses all the mountains of problems very easily with a flying stage, with soul consciousness. Let's understand that in details. God says, may you be an intense effort maker who crosses mountains of problems with your flying stage. So time is constantly moving forward at a fast speed. Time never stops for anybody. It never stops. We can keep on postponing. We can keep on postponing our habits, our mental state, our emotions, our moods. And we might think that when the time is right, when my mood is right, when everything is right, only then I'll move forward. God says time never stops for anybody. Even if someone tries to stop it, it cannot be stopped, isn't it? Time is the creation and you are the creators. We have created time. When we souls came onto this earth, we started creating time. Instantly as we came on this earth, the time was created. Therefore, no matter what type of mountains or situations or problems come, those who fly will never stop. If something that is flying stops before reaching its destination, what happens? There would be an accident. So, you children have to become intense effort makers and also continue to fly in the flying stage. Never get tired and stop. So that means there's a destiny. We all have come with our own destiny. But when we give reasons out of this body, and bodily things around us when we put those things which is matter more important than the mind and then the mind becomes weaker and then the time becomes heavier because body is heavy matter is heavy time becomes heavier and then things become difficult for us to achieve so God says never stop never get tired never give any physical reasons because the soul which has the mind and intellect and habits is more powerful one needs to believe that, one needs to practice that, one needs to make their mind and intellect more powerful than the soul and more more powerful than the physical body. So how do you do that is what we learn in Brahma Kumari, soul consciousness and that's what makes us challenge our negativity, our belief systems and we become a better person on us every single day with divine knowledge and guidance from God directly. With this, Om Shant.